Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new and stumbling along this video for the first time, welcome in. My name is Kayla. By way of introduction, I am the wife to the most amazing husband, the mom to the sweetest newly three-year-old little boy, and I share family, faith, and travel content here on my channel, and I'm so excited to bring you along for another day in my life. All right, so originally the plan was for me to go on on a walk this morning. I have thoroughly been enjoying my walks during the day, but it is pouring outside. It's actually been raining here. We've needed the rain. I live, um, I live in Florida and we have desperately needed the rain for so long now, but um, it's definitely put a damper on my walks. And so I was gonna go on a walk this morning, but it is pouring down rain. And I was like, well, I could just throw on a rain jacket and go ahead and go, but it's like, raining raining so i'm gonna wait it out and see if it gets a little bit better um as the day goes on and maybe go on a walk a little bit later so i'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the day and then i'll go from there all right you guys so i took just a quick five minute shower i don't know about you guys but i do my big showers in the evening um i washed my hair last night i probably wash my hair like every three or four days um dry shampoo is such a game changer in my life but um i don't know in the mornings i just need that quick five minute shower it's just i don't know the perfect way for me to start my day so i'm curious let me know in the comments do you take a shower in the evening in the morning do you do a little bit of both i would love to know um but anyways yeah so i went ahead and threw some curls into my newly washed hair and i'm happy with how that turned out and then i was getting ready to put on makeup and i was like you know what let me just wait until after my walk so i'm still holding out hope that i can go on a walk i'll just throw my hair up um and go and then put my makeup on afterwards uh because we do have an event at his school tonight my son's school tonight so anyways that's kind of where i'm at um it's almost eight o'clock, so I am going to go grab a cup of coffee, get dressed for the day, and yeah, just start my work day. So I have started a load of laundry. Um, I like to start a load of laundry um, every morning before I sit down at my desk. Obviously I work from home, so that makes it easy. And I've mentioned it in a few previous blogs, but I am a travel agent. So I get the privilege to work from home and I absolutely love my job. So before I sit down at my desk, I like to start a load of laundry here at the house. And I also um, got a cup of coffee um, because you just need a good cup of coffee to get you started in the morning. And then um, I also cleaned our office. So let me show you. We moved in in August and I still have not decorated our office, but we had like all in this area, just a ton of stuff that we have yet to unpack. So I moved that to a different room so that I don't have to look at it. Look, I'm just being honest. I'm not ready to go through it yet, but I'm also just don't want to look at it anymore. So I've got this closet here, which is nice. This big blank <laughs> white wall. There we go. White wall here. Beautiful window that I love for natural lighting and filming. Um, and then all of my my treat pup down there <laughs> and then all of my work stuff over here. So um, but my husband um, does come home for lunch and stuff and in the evenings sometimes he works and does his computer work because he's out in the field so i'm thinking i'm gonna set a desk up for him over here and yeah anyways we're just i had to get that out i had to get that clutter out but yeah anyways i had to get that clutter out you guys i couldn't I just can't work when there's clutter in a space. And so it's in a different room that I don't have to go into very often. Um, and then I'm gonna make it a priority. I'm hoping over like our son's Christmas break or whatever, just to make it a priority to go through those things and you know, do uh, a keep, a sell, a donate pile, and 
yeah, just really just work through some stuff and hopefully get this office decorated. So if you have any suggestions of what you think would be really cool to decorate the office, it's a blank canvas um, and I would love for your suggestions. But I'm gonna sit down here, drink my cup of coffee and get to work. All right guys, sorry for the weird lighting. I usually don't have lights on in the house at all during the day. Um, I just, cause we have so much natural light that comes into our home. Um, and that's one of the things that I love about our home is all of the natural light, but it is the gloomiest, rainiest, you just want to curl up on the couch and watch movies kind of day. Um, so I turned on, I had to turn on some lights. Um, and if you saw, I started a load of laundry and I just, I kind of got lazy, um, because I need, I make my own laundry detergent. Um, I have super sensitive skin. I've tried all of like the all free and clears and all of that. Um, and I just, I don't know. My skin is just either super sensitive or sensitized or however you want to say it. Um, and so I really was trying to find something that would work, but still get our clothes really clean. And I found this recipe online and probably on Pinterest somewhere and I absolutely love it. I feel like it really gets our clothes clean. There's no fragrances, dyes, perfumes, things like that. Um, and when I was doing laundry, I was like, uh, I need to like actually make it instead of just throwing a bunch of stuff in the wash. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and make that now and I thought I would show you guys how I do it. Okay, so um, it's a very easy recipe. <laughs> recipe, I don't even know if that's right. It's a, a really easy mix to make um, and it consists of Epsom salt, pink Himalayan sea salt, um, baking soda, washing soda, and borax. Um, and I'll leave the, um, I'll leave the recipe down below. sleeping on the couch. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's super easy. Um, like I said, I will leave it, um, the, the, uh, recipe down below, but it's so anyways, just little things, little tips and tricks that I've picked up along the way over the years with dealing with sensitive skin. Um, so I hope it helps. Hi. <laughs> okay. So I am taking a little bit of a break. I feel like I have gotten so much done this morning. I don't know, I just woke up, it was dreary, and I knew that I kind of had to kick my own rear in gear if I was gonna get anything done today. So I've gotten a lot of work done. Um, I got some transfers lined up for a client who's taking a Disney cruise here soon. Um, I saved um, my clients some money on their trip because Disney released a new promotion that I was able to apply. So it's been really good. It's been really good. I love nothing more than saving my clients money on their trip and getting to email them and say, good morning, great news. Um, so I don't know, that always just puts me in a good mood. I've gotten a lot of laundry done and um, yeah, I rearranged and organized our um, office. So that feels really good. So it's about 10.45 and I was getting hungry. So I just ate a banana. I didn't figure I would show you guys me eating a banana. <laughs> um, I've got my coffee. Does anybody else just have to reheat their coffee 800 times? I've, I've convinced that it, it is my destiny to just drink lukewarm slash cold coffee, but it's okay. I've got my sweet coffee mug here and um, of course water. I have like four drinks going at a time. It drives my husband crazy, but Anyways, I am just thought I would sit down and I would chat with you, but I am just going to try and finish this cup of coffee. I'm going to warm it up one more time <laughs> and um, get some more work done and then um, probably do lunch here in just a little bit. Hello, you guys. 
guys, it is about 1.15 and I've got to go leave to go pick up my son at two. So, but we've got a parent education night tonight. So um, periodically throughout the school year, um, our son's school will host a parent education night. And I just think that's so neat. So they talk about um, the language that they use um, when they are, you know, how they discipline and what that looks like. And that way the parents and the teachers can kind of all be on the same page and there's consistency between school and home. So I absolutely love that. I just love, I just love his school, you guys. Um, I was so nervous about whether or not I was making the right decision to send to send our son to school. And um, every single time I turn around, there is just something that affirms that decision. So I'm so thankful that God is just giving me those affirming um, signs, <laughs> if you will. Um, and so we are looking forward to um, going to that tonight. So um, I am gonna put on a little bit of makeup and I just thought I would stand here and chat with you guys for just a bit and then probably watch one of my favorite comfort YouTubers um, um, to finish putting on my makeup. So anyways, I don't know if you saw, if you're watching this, you saw. <laughs> I um, went on a walk. So sorry, I'm running water. I'm getting my makeup sponge uh, wet. But um, I did end up getting to go for a walk, which was, hold on, let me turn you guys this way. There we go. Um, which was amazing. Um, the rain let up for a little bit. It was still really windy um, and kind of, you know, cool. But um, it, uh, I like walking in cool weather. That is my jam. Um, I just, I love cool weather, you guys. I was born and raised in Indiana. And now I'm a Florida girl and I miss fall so much. But yeah, I miss fall so much. I miss cooler temperatures. And so I am so thankful that it is kind of cooling off here um, where we live. So it was nice just to go on a good 30 minute walk, um, kind of picked up the pace. There were some really great, I've, um, I have just the free version of Pandora. And so um, there's a Christian workout station. And so it's got a lot of upbeat Christian worship music. And man, they were, they were just on fire today. Um, and so I just, it gave me a little pep in my step. So I was kind of proud of my pace. Um, but yeah, I just, you guys, I can't tell you enough um, how much going on a 30 minute walk I'm trying at least five days a week to get it in, get it done, um, has been a positive catalyst for change in my mental health. Um, I never really thought about it until my cousin actually, she's so smart. Um, she's my first cousin, but she's actually closer to my parents' age um, than my age. She's so wise and I really um, value her, um, her thoughts and her advice. And, you know, one day she was like, yeah, Kayla, you're, you're an entire being, you're a whole being, your physical and your mental health are very much intertwined. And I never, I don't know why it didn't dawn on me until she simplified it like that and said, yeah, yeah, you're, you're one human being mentally, physically, spiritually, like, all of it is is connected and um, working together. And when she said that, I was like, okay, then what can I do? What can I consistently do? What can I commit to consistently doing um, that is going to physically um, to help improve my mental health? So if you're new to my channel, you're stumbling along this video for the first time, I've talked a little bit about my mental health journey my postpartum depression journey, and um, it's still a work in progress. You know, I don't know um, if, you know, I think mental health is always a work in progress, right? Like I think you're always, as your life changes and as you continue to grow and change, your mental health changes and the um, your understanding of yourself changes. Um, and so all of that to say, I've just been on, um, I've been 
trying to be more open about my mental health journey. Um, obviously, it's very personal. It's something that um, is unique to everyone. And um, I just, I don't know, I've just not been 100% comfortable sharing. And I've been trying to get better about that because I think that raising awareness about mental health and helping people to know that they're not alone and um, that there are resources available and that there are things that they can do to help improve their mental health is important. So um, all of that to say, I am really diligently working on my mental health and I have been for really the last three years. So I um, recently went through kind of a, a health issue where my immunity was just really, really down. And of course that in turn affected my mental health. And um, that's where the wisdom from my cousin, well, yeah, you're, you're an entire being, you know? Um, and so uh, really have just been starting to focus on my mental or my physical health as a way to work on my mental health as well. And all of that is to say that is the reason that I chose walking because I knew it was something I could commit to. I knew that it was something that I enjoyed. Um, it didn't feel like an impossible mountain to climb, right? Just to go for a walk at a brisk pace for 30 minutes a day didn't like feel like an impossible mountain to climb. And so that's what made me choose walking and I love it. I absolutely love it. I can tell when I don't go for a walk during the day. Um, and usually on my walk, I'll listen, like I said, to Christian worship music or I'll listen to a sermon. And it's really just my time with the Lord um, to spend in worship, to spend in prayer, to spend in the word if it's, um, you know, a sermon that I'm listening to. And I... I just am so thankful for that time. All of that to say, if you are struggling mentally, please know that there are resources out there to help. And I hope that my channel can be a helpful resource. Obviously, I am not licensed in any way. I do not have a background in mental health, but I can speak to my own mental health journey. I am going to stop talking your ear off and um, finish my makeup. Um, I'm actually almost done and watch a little bit of YouTube and I will touch base with you guys in just a little bit. made it to the school pickup line. <laughs> I'm just gonna hang out here and just get a little bit of work done from my phone. So that is the nice thing about what I do is I can I can work from my phone too. So I'm gonna pick up little man. This is just such a fun part of the day for me um, to get to see his sweet little face. I miss him so much. I know that school is so good for him, but I just miss him so much. So I'm excited to have just some afternoon downtime. He likes to just kind of like decompress after we get home. So we just do snack and like read a book or maybe watch a little TV or whatever. Just play with Play-Doh, just kind of like decompress. So I'm excited to have a couple hours with him to do that. And then, like I said, my husband and I have um, a... Uh, parent education night tonight at his school. So uh, my sister-in-law is going to watch him for um, a couple hours so that we can go and do that. Um, but yeah, this has just been um, a fun day in the life so far. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I know it's been super rainy and dreary, but we are trying to make the most out of the day. And I'm actually kind of finding joy in the rain because we need it so badly here. Um, so I know that 
you can't have sunshine without a little bit of rain. So, okay, we are off to parent education night at our son's school. It's about four o'clock um, and it starts at 4.45. Um, but with the rain and traffic's just been crazy, um, we're gonna get there a little bit early. So we are off. Um, he's gonna have some fun ant time with my sister-in-law and uh, we're gonna go get some parent education. So. parent night um, which went really well it's always nice to just be able to like talk with his teachers and talk with the other parents in the toddler classroom so that was really good we are stopping to pick up some Thai food to take home for dinner and I thought I would go ahead and close the vlog out here I just want to thank you guys so much if you watched to the very end it means so much to me to have your support if you've enjoyed this vlog I hope if you haven't already that you'll subscribe Ring that notification bell so you know when I post additional videos and before you click away if you would give this video a thumbs up it would really help support my channel. But I hope you guys are having a great week wherever and whatever day you're watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!